CAPS is just a really good way for uh, kids who, you know, go to the Blue Valley School District or who live in the boundaries, I guess, to uh, get a, you know, real world experience for what it's like to work in their field of study. It's very hard to explain because a lot of people don't understand that this is very real and all the pro everything that we're doing is 100%, you know, real in the work world. Essentially, it's a um, program that immerses students in a real-world work experience, but it's not just a simulation like what some programs I've been in at school do. It's, you know, you're, we're working on actual projects with, you know, actual clients and actual people who need us to do this work for them, but we're, you know, learning and we're getting our high school credit at the same time. Instead of just a learning and and listening to lectures environment, you're actually doing projects to enhance your ability to actually work with actual businesses and um, understand how the uh, actual world works. I decided to become a mentor with CAPS because I looked at what I had available to me when I was in high school and I knew that I wanted to get involved in, in really interesting engineering projects but there just wasn't any coursework available. When I saw what they were trying to make available to students I said I have to be a part of this because it's something I wish I could have done. This is all designed off of economic development. So we're designing programs that match where the market is going. The high demand, high skilled jobs is what this is designed after. When the market shifts and a career is big, then that's where we're headed. If a career opportunity is not, we drop it. We created a program that we didn't want to be elitist. We didn't want just the kids that were you know, had grade point averages above 4.0 here. We wanted kids that had an interest and a motivation that they could couple with their academic acumen to be a part of this. And so we don't have any kind of a screening process when it comes to, to grades or whatever. Um, there is an application process. If kids are interested and they can convince us that they're serious about this, then we want to give them the opportunity. There's a huge difference between CAPS and regular school. I mean, the first thing you notice just by walking in, we have a different dress code. Uh, we have to, you know, dress, you know, to what it's like to be uh, in an office for whatever industry we're in. I chose business. Uh, we get the chance to actually work with real business people. They have a really good system of finding, you know, people who are willing to work with kids and mentor us on what uh, it really means to be in the business world. We have over 300 and 60 mentors from the business community and 240 business partners and that is the essence of why this thing is so unique. CAPS has the opportunity to work with real projects from business partners. We have business partners that will speak and, and teach. They help us write curriculum. There's a small business that needs a project done. Maybe they need a business plan. Maybe they need a social media plan. Maybe they need a website developed. We will do that for them and we'll partner with them and we'll do that at no charge because it's a great experience you know, for our students to be involved with that and, and they're again very, very relevant. I mean, it's a real world experience and it's great for the business because they're receiving a quality product um, you know, at a price, quite frankly, that's, that's very attractive to them. It really is business, business meets education. So we'll take whatever the client needs and we will create cross-functional teams that include marketing kids, design kids, iMedia. And then when that product is done, we'll bring in the business kids and then do the business plan, the marketing, and, and send it all along wherever it happens to go, wherever the kids take it. It's a great program. I would recommend it to a lot of people if they want to get a head start on life. Even if they don't know what they want to do, they can try it out here so they don't have to go through college and pay all that money for something they don't want to do. This is a character. I came in the CAPS program maybe thinking I wanted to be an artist, some sort of designer, my first semester here. But then as the semester ended, I knew that I wanted to major in programming, which is what I do in the technology solutions class with coding. And I also want to minor in graphic design, which I think would give me an edge if I wanted to be maybe a game developer 
or a programmer for NASA. We, as much as we can, provide students the authentic experience of what it would be like to be hired by some of these companies or to work in some of these research firms. We give them an opportunity to be fully immersed into a high demand, high skilled job like an engineer or a bioscientist or even an IT specialist, a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor. With CAPS, if you are interested in medicine, for example, and you take a medicine class, it kind of, uh, it lets you know whether you want to do it or not. It gives you a taste, generally a, a broad sense of all of medicine to see if you would be interested in that as a future career. The large businesses that uh, have come alongside of us, um, this is a tremendous recruiting base for them. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of our engineering program. Basically the aerospace engineering program here at CAPS kind of introduces students just to the foundations of aerospace in general and lets them know, you know, all the different avenues that they have for going into aeronautics or aerospace. In class, we, we try to do some of the foundation things as far as building models or using simulations to look at the fundamentals of flight and, you know, how thrust and drag. And, and those types of things work on aircraft. But then we, we try to take those to the next level in real world projects where they're working with a mentor on something like building a flight simulator. Darwin's involvement with CAPS program uh, has included having people like me and some of our other engineers come to CAPS and mentor students. This includes one-on-one -on -one assistance with projects and uh, giving new ideas and different perspectives on how students can do problem solving in engineering. Uh, other things that, that we're involved with include providing actual physical resources to the projects. Most recently we've provided a G1000 glass cockpit system for the new CAPS flight simulator. We looked around the country, quite frankly, before we embarked on this journey to see if there was something we could model after and, and we just couldn't find anything. So we feel like um, this is somewhat of a pioneering effort. We. Um, have been contacted by a number of different districts across the country. We've had, you know, visitors from, you know, all across the country. We are now in our fourth year of operation and we have seen national interest in this program. So about 50 school districts nationally have come through the building, taken a look at what we're trying to do because it's all about authentic learning and schools and school districts are really engaged in trying to figure out what the model of the future of learning is going to look like. And there are some districts who have literally sent hundreds of people here. So CAPS is not going to look the same everywhere because the economic indicators and the economic exposure and student interest is not going to be the same in Park City, Utah as it is in Minnetonka, Minnesota as it is here. And so what we're learning and helping consult with these school districts is to figure out who are your business partners? How do you leverage that untapped potential that you've got in your community? And how do you take those business partners and align them with your students' interests in in high demand, high skilled jobs. By no means do we feel like it's going to replace the comprehensive high school. We think comprehensive high school has, has a place and there are kids that benefit greatly from that. But we do know and we're, we're evidence that there is a segment of kids, in fact a substantial segment of kids, that can really benefit from this type um, of relevance.